Fascinating discussion. Got a lot of people uh, lined up, uh, Judge, that want to talk to you. The race is uh, now less than three weeks away. Um, fundraising going well for you? Yes. Yeah, the, uh, the fact of the matter is uh, I, that's the first time that the media demonstrated uh, that I was a viable candidate. Of course, uh, we already knew that. But uh, when we were able to raise uh, uh, over $220,000 in 10 days during Christmas time, I thought that that spoke for itself. All right. Come back. More with the uh, judge. But first, this time out. Got a stained roof? Did you know that algae stains are stealing life from your roof? Do you want a beautiful roof again while saving you thousands of dollars by adding years of life to your existing roof? Call Suburban Roofing at 504-861-ROOF and get roof shampoo. Roof shampoo is an affordable, eco-friendly, non-bleach, low-pressure roof cleaning system that will beautify and add years of life to your roof. Roof shampoo is the premier roof cleaning system in the industry. It is low-cost. Hello. Twenty-three states. Yes. Hey, what 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 is what is going out? Um, can they see? Uh, looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's live. We're live. No, but I just see me right now. Jeff, can you hear me? Okay. Co-parenting well is extremely beneficial to your okay. children, but it does require a lot well, of restraint and personal discipline that probably isn't instinctive. Steve, can you see? Can, can you see both of us now? It requires you to treat someone yes. you don't like very much. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? And you likely show to people you like a lot. More, yes. And yes. Treat you a lot better. You can hear me. To just one more aspect. Of no, I can hear you. It's it's not real clear, but I can hear you. Especially after. Oh, okay. Hold on. Violent or physically abusive act. Determining to co-parent well, okay. even if your ex won't. We, the video is on. And that's crucial to your kid's well-being. So let that be your inspiration. How is he going to bring him in? Buy a punching bag and direct your frustration at it instead of your ex. If you want to know more, you can find me on the web at www.mccoolllegalllc.com or call okay. us at 985-624-7666. Okay, why you keep New Orleans, do you just love Chinese food like me? Hi, it's Corey Johnson. There can only be one best Chinese. And it's Trey Yen. Trey Yen has all your favorite traditional Chinese dishes and some not so traditional. The Wong brothers serve some of the area's best seafood and with a Chinese twist like trout, flounder, soft shell crabs, shrimp, oysters, and more. Trey Yen in Mandeville. Trey Yen in Hammond. When you want the best in Chinese food, Trey Yen. WGSO. Yeah, Steve, I can, I can hear you. Um, so you can see us both now. Great. Yeah, you're, you're being recorded. Independent radio station. Those Facebook people have got nothing on us. Give us a poke or friend us. Ringside Politics with a Punch is on the air right now. You like? Call Jeff Cruer right now at 556-9696. Hey, welcome back. Uh, besides our, uh, of course, WGSO audience, uh, we want to welcome uh, our audience on BayouBuzz.com. We're doing a live uh, Google uh, Hangout of this, uh, of course, uh, interview with uh, Judge Michael Bagneris and uh, publisher of BayouBuzz.com, uh, Steve Sabodowski now uh, joining us here. And uh, Steve, welcome. How are you? I'm doing fine, Jeff and uh, Judge Bagneris. Uh, and how are y'all doing? Uh, this is actually historic. But uh, anyway, uh, thank you for participating. Um, Judge, why don't you just, uh, Jeff, why don't you just take the calls uh, from your callers? Yeah, we got a full call board, and uh, sure, Steve will do on. that. Uh, let's uh, right now uh, go right to the uh, calls, and let's go to uh, Judge, uh, let's go to uh, Reverend Wallace. Uh, Rev, you're on with uh, Judge Michael Bagneris. Welcome. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. How you doing? Good morning, Reverend. Hey, Rev. Well, when I, Mr. Bagneris, I, I knew you for some time, and so I knew you from this piece, and I worked it close around Mr. Mario, and I knew about uh, you. I think you're a very nice guy. Thank you. But it sort of, to me, seemed like your fundraising, the people that's giving you this money, are more associated with uh, their grind against the mayor, and it has nothing to do with your qualifying. I mean, you get the money where you can get it from. But when I look at you saying that you're going to bring in a superintendent, and all of a sudden the superintendent is going to wave a wand and you're going to add 1,600 officers, where is this money going to come from? I mean, where is this money going to come from? I'm not sure the mayor would have did everything the superintendent would have if they could have brought the numbers up. The okay. opposition came from Miss Stacy Hedge that set up that, uh, that just when things got bad, they want to open the venues up, allowing people to come in uh, to work for this department uh, out of the city. Uh, so okay. right now, 
when you're looking at the Democratic, as you said, you, did, you, you got 70 people from the Democratic locally. These are the same people that stood by for the last four years that didn't even support the president of Louisiana. He didn't win Louisiana. All right, my friend. Hey, uh, Rev, we got to roll on. Got a full call board, but I want to give you a chance to respond, Judge. Go ahead. Well, first of all, you did a uh, good job, Rev, of, uh, of uh, being a mouthpiece for the uh, incumbent. Uh, the fact of the matter is we have a, uh, we have a plan to bring in more police officers. Uh, we didn't say we were going to wave a wand and do it. We said we were going to do it, however. One way that we're going to do it is to go after those early retirees uh, who are frustrated and left because of the poor policies that this administration is trying to force down the throats of the police department. So that's one thing that we're going to do. We're going to invite them back. The second thing that we're going to do, we're going to incentivize uh, the police officers being here uh, by uh, make, having such programs like uh, the rehab programs where we already have a consortium of banks willing to give the police officers low interest rate loans if they will take over a rehab or uh, a blighted piece of property mm -hmm. and rehab it and live in that property uh, they will be entitled to a very low interest rate loan we have the universities indicating that for those police officers who want to uh, pursue their uh, educational uh, uh, pursuits, uh, they would have either a waiver or an extreme discount uh, on their tuitions. Okay. So we're trying to incentivize uh, the police officers. And one other thing, we're going to follow the Michelle Obama plan and invite all of our uh, military men who are coming back into the city uh, to uh, enter into the uh, into the police. Force. Okay, thank you, Rev. Uh, let's go from Reverend Wallace to Reverend Bailey. Reverend Bailey, welcome. How are you, <laughs> Reverend uh, Bailey? Okay, we lost you there. Try, try to call back, uh, Rev. Let's go to uh, Phil the Patriot. Phil, you're on with uh, Judge Bagneris. Welcome. Hey, pleasure to be on the air with you, Judge Bagneris. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you win. And I'm going to urge everybody that know to vote for you most definitely. And there's something I want you to be very, very well aware of right now. It's very, very, very important. Voter fraud has been raised to a new level in our form in the New Orleans area. You need to have as many people out there watching the polls as possible because I can tell you right now, they're going to try to mess you over, sir. All right, uh, Phil, are you worried about um, the integrity of the vote on uh, the 1st? Well, we intend to have uh, poll watchers. Okay. Uh, so, but that's 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 standard uh, mm -hmm. in, in the in the operation. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not aware of the uh, the the type of uh, fraud that the caller just uh, mentioned, mm -hmm. but uh, I will assure the caller that he has given me a heightened uh, sense of uh, of uh, of urgency to look into that matter and to assure that uh, every individual's vote is protected, that the integrity of the uh, voting process must be maintained. All right, let's keep it rolling. Uh, next with us, uh, Flaming Liberal. Uh, you're on with Judge Bagnaris. Welcome. Judge Bagnaris, my name is David Bellinger. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I grew up in the New Orleans French Quarter in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. I lost my home in Katrina, New Orleans East. I fully intended to run to be mayor of New Orleans in 2006, but being totally blind, and my campaign slogan was going to be a blind man with a vision, I was not able to fulfill uh, my um, fantasy or my, uh, you know, to run to be mayor of New Orleans. But my platform is at theflamingliberal.blogspot.com. I would be honored if you would read it. It's a 25-point platform that I was on a campaign on to be mayor of New Orleans. Do you have a question, Flaming Liberal? Yes, well, the most important point is I had a plan to bring people back to New Orleans, expand the tax base, and give all these residents job preference by giving employers a tax incentive like a rebate on sales tax collected to give New Orleans residents a preference to, um, to bring people back to New Orleans. So unlike the earnings tax, it's perfectly legal and constitutional. Okay. Uh, Let's ask him real quick. Uh, thank you, Fleming Liberal. Do you like that idea, uh, Judge? I will read the uh, Flaming Liberals platform okay. uh, to have a better handle on what he's, uh, what he's suggesting. And if, in fact, it's something that the, uh, we believe is workable, then, of course, we'll, uh, okay. we'll, we'll institute it if it's, uh, if it's a workable idea. But obviously, I'd have to run, run it by. Uh, Your team, huh? Right. Okay. But not your deputy mayor, since you're not going to have deputy mayors, right? No, we will not have <laughs> okay. deputy mayors. All right. Reverend uh, Bailey, are you back with us, Reverend? Yes, sir. I 
I don't want to ask this man if he's interested in so much of the city. Where he's been at since all this police abuse with these people and these cases being overturned. And where is he standing at with the Glover case as it is right now? All right, the Glover case. Do you have a stand on that, uh, Judge? Yes, I have. Well, first of all, where have I been? I've been in the court. Uh, for, I've, I've been on the bench for 20 years. Uh, and as far as the uh, Glover case goes, obviously the, uh, the, the, the coroner should step up and, uh, and, 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 and as he already indicated he would, uh, reopen that matter. And l let's get the real truth because uh, that's, all, that's all the system is supposed to be about is a search for truth. All right. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't get to everybody. I uh, want to uh, thank all of our friends on BayouBuzz.com and Steve Sabaldowski. Thank all our listeners here on WGSO. Judge, in our final 30 seconds, where can folks get more information about your campaign? On the Bagneris for Mayor website. Okay. BagnerisforMayor.com, obviously. All right. And obviously still fundraising, looking for uh, some campaign dollars, right? Uh, absolutely. We're always looking for campaign dollars. Mm -hmm. And as far as your confidence level, um. Can you predict victory today? You think you're going to win? Uh, not only am I going to win, I disagree with my campaign advisors who said that uh, we'll go into a runoff and I'll win the runoff. I'm telling all my uh, listeners, we're going to win this one in the first. All right, Judge Michael Bagneris, thanks for being with us. Thanks to everyone who joined us today. We'll be back tomorrow to do it again. Next up, it's Eric Asher for Inside New Orleans.